not saying that I don't appreciate new music. I'm just saying that it doesn't really have any substance. That's your opinion, and you're wrong. But people have the right to be stupid. I can appreciate anything as long as there's passion behind it. You have to be willing to let the past go. You know, kill it if you have to. In order to evolve and grow, like the Phoenix, Rebirth, stuff like that. I'm not sure I would agree with that. Wait, did you just call me stupid? Shut up, stupid. Listen, in the 60s, people were all kind of like crazed over like fucking... The Beatles and Elvis and stuff, right? They didn't really care about the music. Yeah, it was fun to dance and everything, but it was like the persona, the atmosphere, the mood it put you in. And now if you go to the club and you hear, she's got a big booty, so I'll call her big booty. It puts you in this like really fun mood. It's fun, it's catchy. Dude, I never go clubbing. And if I were to go clubbing, I'd probably request something like Juicy or, or this is how it's done. I don't really go clubbing, but that would make me bite my toes. Well, that's why remixes and sampling are so important to the music industry. It all creates some sort of atmospheric purpose. Everything does, as long as you let it in and allow it to touch you. You know, photography, films, books, all sorts of literature, comic books, everything. It's art. It's meant to bring us together, you know, through debate or tear us apart. wrong dude i don't want to talk about it sweet he doesn't talk about it so like i was saying back in my day yeah 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 back in my day back in my day i think he wants to talk about it back in my day people respected history back in our day when a sequel came out it was expected that it would answer the questions that were set up by the previous installment would you please stop saying back in our day it makes me feel ancient you're not even 30 yet wait how old are you? attend a birthday dickhead Back in my day, directors didn't just do what the fuck they felt like. They understood that the fans needed certain things to happen in order for it to all feel perfect. Oh, he finally saw Star Wars. I finally saw Star Wars. It took you this long to finally see Star Wars? Jesus. I'm glad you didn't like it. Mr. fucking noob sidebite over here. I shouldn't have seen it. I can't unsee it now. And forever, I'm scarred. Jesus, you're so dramatic. What's next? Are you gonna sign one of those stupid fucking petitions to remove it from the canon? Moron. I thought about it. There's been some serious thought. I think we should hear him out. It's simple storytelling structure. One director raises questions so another can come in and answer those said questions so they make fucking sense. I thought it made sense. You're a cunt. Whoa, big guy. Take it easy. And fuck you too. I expect this from Pete, but I thought you were better than that. Listen, dick mouth. Just because you didn't get exactly what you wanted and you didn't understand the movie, it doesn't make it a bad film. I'm glad you finally saw it. Now I'm gonna hit you with the ultimate truth bomb. Don't you say it. It's the best Star Wars film yet. Are you mental? Was there a gas leak in your theater? That movie didn't answer shit. Like, who the fuck is Rey? Not, Not the, the Last, last Jedi. Jedi. Who the fuck was Snoke? Find out in the next one. one. Maybe. Maybe. Look, Skywalker would never turn to the fucking dark side and become a weak ass Jedi. He would never do that. Not even if his dick was on fire. If my dick was on fire, all bets are off. I'd suck my dick if my dick was on fire. Carl, for Pete's sake, Pete. At the very worst, it's a decent film. Back in my day, they didn't make movies by committee. There weren't all these cooks in the kitchen. There was one director with a vision over his trilogy. Did he just say the same thing three times? Yep. And wait, George Lucas didn't direct all three Star Wars films. No, I meant the prequels. What the fuck? People shit on the prequels, but that was his vision. He was telling stories of destiny and politics and one man's downfall. There was a narrative that didn't betray the characters. This is not gonna end the way you think it will. Sure, the acting was a little wooded. The words have made me a little dead inside. Should I call someone, like, like a priest or something? And Jar Jar wasn't that. What's happening? You were my brother, Carl. I loved you! That was from the prequels! Is this gonna take much longer? I have to make that slideshow thing for Mama Dukes. Sorry, it's really fucking heavy! Well, that's me! So how long does the slideshow have to be? 20 fucking minutes! 20 minutes?! I can't even watch porn for 20 minutes! We gotta really stop living with our moms! Should we just kill him and get this over with? You wanna kill him? You're a cunt! I'm just gonna choke him a little! Oh shit! <clears throat> oh shit, we had that photo shoot. Fuck, camera. You don't like the prequels. I don't like the prequels.